Okay, well, after my uh, last video, I got a lot of response from a lot of different people. And uh, this is the great thing about doing open source uh, work, is you get feedback from everybody, and everybody gives you ideas. And uh, it really helps everybody when you exchange the ideas and then uh, work together as a group. But um, based on what people talked to me about yesterday, and some of the experiments that I did, uh, specifically, I'd be pointless's idea about freezing the cells to see if the water, when it was frozen, stopped the galvanic action, and on uh, what and on what cells. And I found out that the uh, stovetop cell, that he, uh, his stovetop cell, was one of the ones that uh, was the one really that did not uh, die when you froze it up. So I went back to looking at just crystals, and. Uh, this is a Rochelle salt crystal right there. And there's a penny and a little piece of magnesium touching the crystal. And I grew this crystal using um, um, baking soda and uh, cream of tartar in a homegrown uh, Rochelle salt crystal uh, deal. And there is no water added to this. This has been sitting out and dried out and it's in the air so there might be moisture locked up in that but of all the crystal and things that I tried like this this was the one that worked was the Rochelle salt crystal and uh, you probably can't see this blinking because it's too light out but you can hear it with the oscillator with the radio and that thing is running on point contact on that little tiny crystal there. And this gives me more hope because this is what I've really been working toward is a solid state type of device that does not use uh, a liquid. And that's just a crystal. That's just a, a piece of this crystal, this Rochelle salt crystal with the two electrodes. That's a copper penny. It's not a solid copper. That's a copper coated uh, zinc uh, inside. And a little piece of magnesium mist making point contact on that crystal. And yet it is running this oscillator. So, I have renewed hope in these uh, semiconductor type of devices that we're working on after talking to a bunch of people um, and uh, doing some experiments that perhaps uh, we are on the right trail of making a uh, a water-free crystalline cell or a liquid-free crystalline cell and uh, uh, the Marcus Reed cell that John Bedini has in front of him that he's testing uh, from what John is saying and from what I've been reading is a pure semiconductor crystalline cell and how it works uh, is something I, I'm still trying to figure out. But uh, anyway, this little experiment today that I did with the, just the crystal here gives me renewed hope on uh, the research that I'm doing. I also made something else here I wanted to show. I made a uh, stainless steel crystal cell uh, using one of these uh, little uh, stainless steel creamer cups and uh, it's a mixture of these crystals um, in layers. It's a polycrystalline cell and there's different layers of different crystals going all the way up ending with the paraffin wax sealant which is something that John Bedini says Marcus Reed had to do was seal this up with paraffin wax to keep the cell in operation otherwise they would die. It's a magnesium uh, fire starter block there and then the uh, stainless steel and this is non-magnetic stainless this is the real deal I'm not sure what grade it is but it's pretty good quality uh, these are like restaurant quality uh, creamers I got it at the store they were two dollars a piece but it runs this uh, LED light really good and uh, it puts out about a volt and gives me the bright light that I want uh, out of an LED circuit and um, this puts out um, about a volt at uh, just a few milliamps. It's not a, a, not a strong cell, but I'm thinking that this cell might go a very long time. The uh, differential between the metals is such that 
I don't think I'm going to get a huge deterioration in it the way that this is put together. And so this may be like the IB pointless stovetop cell that just runs a long, 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 long time. But it may give me that bright light that I want. And uh, this is what I look for in these projects that I do. Is, is there something I can really use out of them? Is there some way to make these things into something that is useful? And if I can get that cell to run for months and produce good light, um, that's what I'm after. So anyway, that's the project today, the progress on the little crystalline cells. And this thing here was the, the big news that uh, I can get that to work off of a little crystal with no water. Thanks for watching.